good morning everyone today we will learn kinds of sentences before starting our topic our chapter first of all i would like to ask a question what do you mean by sentence a sentence is a group of word which make a complete sense is called sentence now let's start our topic kinds of sentences there are four kinds of sentences declarative sentence interrogative sentence imperative sentence and last one exclamatory sentence these are the four kinds of the sentence today we are going to learn the use of each tense one by one let's continue with the first one declarative sentence before understanding before going to learn the use of declarative sentence what declarative sentence is so first of all read the given examples i like apples second example i love to listen music third example rohit ate pizza for lunch these three these three sentences tell us something they give some information the sentence which tell us something which gives some information is called declarative sentence declarative sentence is also called assertive sentence i like apples so the first sentence tell us about i i love to listen music second example also tell us about i it gives some information rohit ate pizza for lunch third example gives us some information about rohit hence it is clear that a sentence which says or states something is called declarative sentence declarative sentence always begin with a capital letter and ends with a full stop declarative sentence how it begin the first letter of declarative sentence is capital and it ends with a full stop now let's have a relook of the above example i like apples the first letter is i and after apples full stop is placed i love to listen music again the first letter is i and the music is the last word and the full stop is placed after the music rohit ate pizza for lunch so here rohit r capital because rohit is a proper noun as well as r is the first letter of the sentence and it ends with a full stop so we can say that declarative sentence begins with a capital letter and ends with a full stop let's go through the definition of declarative or we can also call it assertive sentence a declarative sentence says or states something declarative sentence does what it tell something it tell something or state something it begins with a capital letter and ends with a full stop let's continue with the second kind of sentence interrogative sentence what is the second kind of the sentence interrogative sentence yes exactly right interrogative sentence read these sentences how are you when do we eat lunch where have you been after reading these examples these sentences 
what you are waiting for obviously you are waiting for the answers how are you what you will get you will get the answer i am fine when do we eat lunch when do we eat lunch again you are waiting for the answer where have you been still you are waiting for the answer a sentence which inquires something which asks something is called interrogative sentence interrogative sentence always begins with wh word or the auxiliary verbs what are the auxiliary verbs am is are was where has have had shall will do does did these are the auxiliary verbs interrogative sentence begin with either wh word or the auxiliary verb wh words what why when which where whose how these are called wh words so interrogative sentence begin with wh word or the auxiliary verb and end with the question mark as we have seen earlier declarative sentence begin with a capital letter and ends with the full stop but here the interrogative sentence begins with the wh word or the auxiliary verb and ends with the question mark interrogative sentence never end with full stop we never place we never put we never use full stop at the end of interrogative sentence we use question mark at the end of interrogative sentence how are you when do we eat lunch where have you been the above sentences are questions they inquire something they ask something an interrogative sentence ask a question interrogative sentence does what it ask a question it begins with a capital letter and ends with a question mark third kind of a sentence imperative sentence what is the third kind imperative sentence read these sentences clean your room do your homework please pick up those toys these sentences are imperative sentences imperative sentence begin with the verb imperative sentence doesn't have a subject in it we never use subject in imperative sentence imperative sentence always begin with the verb verb first form clean your room is it a sentence yes because it is full of meaning but it is an order clean your room it it is an order do your homework please it is what it is a request pick up those toys it is also an order so we can say that a sentence which gives gives order which makes request which gives a command suggestion is called imperative sentence imperative imperative sentence gives order command request or suggestion an imperative sentence gives a request command or gives direction it usually begins with a verb 
how a imperative sentence begin it begins with verb clean do and pick what are these these are the verbs clean is the verb do is also the verb and pick is also the verb which form of the verb verb first verb second verb third verb ing it is the verb first it is the first form of the verb whenever we make imperative sentence we begin with the first form of the verb clean your room do your homework please pick up those toys so imperative sentence gives a request command or directions it begins with a verb it also begin with a capital letter and ends with a full stop which punctuation mark is placed at the end of imperative sentence full stop is placed at the end of imperative sentence let's move toward the last kind of sentence exclamatory sentence read these sentences the car has a flat tire the car has a flat tire second example how fast is she talking how fast is she talking what a beautiful view it is the above sentences are exclamatory sentences and exclamatory sentence express a strong feeling or emotion exclamatory sentence does what it express our strong feeling strong emotion or the surprise exclamatory sentence express a strong feeling emotion or the surprise it also begin with how what what a and ends with the exclamation mark read the first sentence once again the car has a flat tire it express what it express our strong feeling how fast is she talking this sentence express our sudden feeling or the surprise the way of her speed the way of her speaking what a beautiful view it is in exclamatory sentence we express our sad happy and joyous feeling by using how what what a and we use exclamation mark at the end of exclamatory sentence so this was about the sentence and its kind thank you so much for your kind listening and attention mm-hmm.